What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more acid trance slash acid techno. It is in that sort of mid-90s mode where there are elements of both, I would say. Um, indeed, I like, I've heard people refer to this guy's tracks as both acid techno and acid trance. Um, I think it sort of depends on the tune for me. I think something like stress could be more legitimately considered acid trance, maybe tone as well. Um, but there are other tunes he's done where I would say it's more closer to acid techno. Um, nevertheless, this one also, I would say if I had to put it into one of those two categories, I might push it more towards acid trance. Uh, but yeah, we're going to listen to a tune called Acid Phase. This is originally on Emmanuel Topps uh, label Attack Records, uh, but this is a 2002 release in which it has a Kai Tracid remix, which is cool. I very much enjoy Kai Tracid's tunes, and this is a good remix. Uh, it also uh, features an Electro Chemi LK remix. Um, wasn't familiar with that artist before this. Admittedly, I didn't buy this record for that version. It was more for getting um, the Kai Tracid remix and the one we're going to listen to, the original mix, but remastered. Um, so let me see if it says who did the remastering. Um, yeah, exclusively licensed from Attack Records, yes. Um, it doesn't say... Nope. Nope. Uh, at least not here. So uh, we'll see if I can get more information on that. But as I said, this is a 2002 release. Um, let me see if it says it on the Discogs page for this. Uh, it's Cosmo Records, which is a German label. Um, no, it just says a remaster. So um, I'm just going to assume that the remaster was done by Emmanuel Top himself. Um, I'm not certain of that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this is from Cosmo Records, 2002, so 20 years ago, but uh, eight years after the original had come out, and this is the original mix remastered. event, but it's like for vampires or something. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to people, but again, it has like that organ sound, and you hear organs at some sporting events, but it's like, I'm going to say it's menacing, but there's a hint of evil to it. It's 
amazing how well that melodic, like rolling um, layer works with the acid attack. It's like it's waving above and below the acid layers. Pulls the melody out of the track quickly there, fair to say. Like, it dies very abruptly. But I love this strip, the strip down acid segment. Crazy to think this is almost a 30 year old tune, like the original master. Like whether it's stress or tone or this one, um, they have a very trance-like, and I'm not getting into the genre thing again, but I mean like they're hypnotic. They really like get you just into this zone where like you're just rolling with the, the rhythm of the piece. You're gonna see like a sea of heads just kind of bobbing in unison. Fantastic. Um, yeah, there were a couple things that surprised me there. Um, one, uh, I was surprised by the way the acid came in so quickly. Like again, it bleeds in, but it bleed. It's like a sharp uptake, and then it was the same thing in reverse when the melody went out for that stripped down like acid interlude. It sort of like tapered out of the tune, but it tapered like very quickly. Um, so yeah, that that stuck out to me a little bit. Um, but I really do love that track. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, I keep mentioning the other two that I have, Stress and Tone, because they're two of my favorite. Between the three, I'm not sure I have a favorite. Tone might be just because I think it was the first Emmanuel Top tune I heard. It was on um, a CD compilation called Acid Transcore, which is by the same company that put out those Sound of Acid Core compilations, which I mentioned before, which for the record didn't really have Acid Core on it at all. It was more Acid Tecto and Acid Trance. Um, but yeah, it was sort of like a a cousin release to those was this Acid Trance core release. Um, and you know, it had cores and some other like pretty prominent Acid Trance artists on it. Uh, but that's where I first heard uh, Tone, um, and that brought um, him to my attention, Emmanuel Top. And then I think part three of Sound of Acid Core, um, I think it had Stress on it, and I was very fond of that one. And that one has, a, you know, it, it integrates like a human like breathing, like rhythmically, it's like really interesting. So. Um, his work from the 90s is sort of like untouchable, like classic. And as I said, I found that piece and those other two that I keep mentioning um, very hypnotic. Like, they just get you in this groove and you're just sort of like, you're rolling with those acid layers, that acid attack as I called it. And then in this one, it's this big sort of sweeping organ melody, whereas in tone, it's that kind of ping, like, you know, rhythmic tone melody. Or in stress, it's that breath melody, or melody, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, he has a good way of sort of like twisting your mind into a zone where he just like holds you and the acid like keeps you. Um, yeah, so shout out to that. Let me know if you're a fan of his tunes. Let me know if you like one of the ones I mentioned or if there's a different one. I, what is it? Turkish Bazaar? Um, I think that one is like really, really popular uh, with people. I don't know if I like that one as much as this one or the other two that I keep mentioning. Um, but yeah, I do know that one's super popular. So let me know if you like it. Let me know if there's another track by him um, that you'd like to hear reacted to. Although, as I say that, 
I don't, I know I don't have tone, which has always been frustrating for me because like when I started buying records, it was already, you know, going for like really expensive prices and even then it'd be like a VG copy, not even VG plus and it's like, I don't know if I want to spend like 40 euro on a copy that might be like, you know, full of pops and <clears throat> surface noise. So it's just one that I have never been able to get. But yeah, just even if um, I don't end up reacting to it, let me know if there's an manual top tone that you're really fond of. Other than that, thank you for listening and watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.